Now, most of us outdoorsy type people like to get out and wander around in the woods when we go camping, and uh, for that reason, it's really good to teach yourself how to develop a good sense of direction. And I think probably learning how to track the sun across the sky is the best way to do that. So I'm going to show you how to make a sundial here today. And but before I do that, I want to point out that if you're one of these GPS and cell phone and electronic device kind of people, even compasses, uh, just keep in mind you can lose those things. The batteries can go dead in them, so you don't want to rely totally on that. So I found me a meadow, and I'm going to get, it's a cinder meadow actually, and I'm going to get kind of out in the middle of it. Um, there are some pretty good sized trees around it, as you can see, and the shade of those trees might very well affect our sundial. Uh, not so much in the middle of the day, uh, but toward the beginning and the end of the day, but I'm sure I'll have enough. Um, sun to demonstrate the principle. The first thing I want to do is just find a pole I can plant in the middle um, of that meadow. Almost anything would work. Shoot, you could you could use a tent pole for this if you wanted to. Uh, the longer the pole, the better resolution your sundial will have. That is, the bigger separation there will be between the hours and marks. I'm just going to stick this baby in the ground and um, the trick is we're going to watch the tip of that shadow and at each hour we're going to mark it. Now we need to calibrate it. Now I'm going to use pine cones to mark the hours. Of course you could use rocks, sticks, whatever. Uh, the kids like doing this by the way. If you happen to have kids around, you put them in charge of marking the hours, I think they'll enjoy doing it. One of the things you want to do though is when you hit noon, you mark north because when the shadow is shortest, which theoretically is at noon, it's going to point directly north. Now it's going to vary just a little bit depending on where you are in your time zone, but uh, um, basically when the shadow is shortest it points directly north and that's what you need to mark. So I have pretty much marked this out as much as I can in this meadow. The shadows of the trees have kind of gotten me in places. Looks like that and we got there by essentially just marking each hour. Um, no rocket science involved here at all. And if I pull the view back here a little bit so you can see the whole thing, you'll notice I have pine cones for 4 and 5 o'clock as well. I couldn't get any other ones on earlier in the morning or what have you because the shadows were just too long on the trees. So looking down from the top, here's what you have. There's You can kind of see my arrow there that points north. Um, and that would be north. And by the way, that would be the direction of North Star at night as well. And the important thing here is that now we know not just which way north is, but which way east, west, and south are as well. Um, and then the other thing you might want to notice here is that the pine cones roughly point east to west. Now it's not exactly true. The in fact of the matter is, <clears throat> we say the sun comes up in the east and goes down to the west, but that's really only true two times a year. And it kind of depends on what time of year it is. Uh, summer, spring, winter, or fall. Um, so this is something you're going to have to play with quite a bit in order to get a feel for how it works in your area. Um, the big thing to note is that when there is no sun, there are no shadows, and it's easy to get lost. So go camping, and don't get lost.